Mm. with me to a pretty familiar story. If you turn with me to uh, Genesis, the uh, 18th chapter, Genesis, the 18th chapter, Genesis 18. We're going to read this. I'm going to read this from the Message Bible. I'm going to read this from the Message, but I'm going to read uh, verses 1 through 15. Verses 1 through 15. Verses 1 through 15. Genesis 18th chapter, verses 1 through 15. If you have it, please say amen. amen. If you need a few more minutes, say hold on. Genesis 18th chapter verses 1 through 15. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it reads mm -hmm. God appeared to Abraham at the oaks of Mamre while he was sitting at the entrance of his tent. It was the hottest part of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing. He ran from his tent to greet them and bowed before them. He said, Master, if it please you, stop for a while with this servant. I'll get some water so you can wash your feet. Rest under this tree. I'll get some fresh, I'll get some food to refresh you on your way, since your travels have brought you across my path. They said, Certainly, go ahead. Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah. He said, hurry, get three cups of your best flour, right. knead it, and make bread. Mm. And Abraham ran to the cattle pen and picked out a nice plump cow and gave it to the servant who lost no time getting it ready. Then he got curds and milk, brought them with the cow that they had been roasted set the meal before the men and stood there under the tree while they ate. The man said to him, where is, your, where is Sarah your wife? He said, in the tent. One of them said, I'm coming back this, about, I'm coming back about this time next year. When I arrive, your wife Sarah will have a son. Sarah was listening at the tent opening, just behind the man. Abraham and Sarah were old by this time, very old. Sarah was far past the age of having babies. Sarah laughed within herself. An old woman like me get pregnant with this old man of a husband? <laughs> and God said to Abraham, why does Sarah laugh saying me, mm. having a baby, an old woman like me? Is anything too hard for God? I'll be back about this time next year, and Sarah will have a baby. Sarah lied and said, I didn't laugh because she was afraid. But he said, yes, you did. You laughed. You may be seen in the presence of the Lord. Just want to use it for a few, a few minutes here, just for a few moments. Uh, a subject is going to come in the form of a question. Is there anything too hard for God? All right. Mm -hmm. Is there anything too hard for God? As we look around the length and breadth of our nation, of, of this world, even here in the city, Pensacola, we see that people are having a hard time. People are losing their jobs. Yes, Lord. People are struggling trying to be ends meet. As, as a matter of fact, at, at this very point in time, I believe Congress has not signed the bill to extend, yeah, to prevent people from being evicted that could not pay the rent due to COVID. So, so, so many people are, are having a hard, hard time Amen. dealing with that. Not only that, but people are having a hard time with sickness. That's right. Amen. They may not have enough money for their to cover the cost of their prescription, even if it's generic sometimes, it costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. People are having a hard time. People are having a hard time 
in, in their marriage or, or in their home to where uh, there may be there may be uh, tension there. There may be some some things that may be going on that that may not uh, cause the home to be uh, conducive of, of to be uh, a loving home the way that they envision it to be. They're dealing with hard times. Yes. Or, or, or there, there, may, there may be uh, people who are 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 uh, looking at their bank account and they see that their bank account is negative and, and the bills keep coming in and, and they're trying to figure out how they're going to pay the bills. They, they're having a hard time. Amen. Or, or, or even, even in the aspect of, 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 of trying to wrap your head around the events in your life and, and in terms of, of things happening and, and you trying to figure out which way you're going to go in terms of the things or the of the issues of life. All, right. all of us, all of us deal with some hard times. Yes. All, all of us, and I believe 100% of us, even young folks, are dealing with some hard times. They they deal with peer pressure. They they deal with uh, uh, having to try to measure up. They 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 have uh, this this uh, this this envisionment that uh, that they have to be this way or they have to be uh, this size or or they have to be they have the their hair have to be like this or that and and, and they're given this falsehood of of what they should be and it causes them to stress out and they they are dealing with hard times. All right, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. Even in the light of of everything that we go through. Yes. Even in the light of of hard times. The question becomes again, is there anything too hard for God? Mm. Right. All right. I, I, I don't know what situation you're going through right now. I, I, I don't know what you are literally going through right now because because under the sound of my voice, I, I, I know that, that those that are in here, those that, that are watching or uh, uh, listening to this message, uh, all of us are dealing with something different. Everybody is dealing with something. And the question becomes again, is there anything too hard for God? Amen. Because when we look at our situation and we go through hard times, we say to ourselves, this is hard. Mm. This is hard. This is hard. What, whatever you're going through, yes. this is hard. Death is hard. Uh, yes. Losing a job is hard. Yes. Uh, 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 marital situations are hard. Yes. Uh, sickness is hard. Yes. Uh, whatever you're going through, it is hard. Amen. Amen. But again, the question becomes, Amen. is there is there anything yes. too hard for God? All right, come on. See, Abraham and, and Sarah, God had, had promised Abraham in, in chapter 17. God had told Abraham that he was going to have a baby. God had told him, he said, he said I'm going to establish my covenant with you. He said, he said, he said, he said, uh, 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 those that, that, uh, that would, 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 uh, those that bless you will be blessed and those that curse you will be cursed. He said that I'm going to bless you. And, and Abraham thought that uh, uh, Ishmael was going to be the son of promise. But God told Abraham, he said, no, no, no. Ishmael is not the son of promise. He said, I'm going to bless you and Sarah. With a baby. Amen. I'm going to bless you with a promise. Mm -hmm. There's times in our life, y'all. I want you to hear me now. There, there, there's times in, 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 our, in our life when God promises us something. And, and, and you've been waiting for so long. Sarah was 89 years old. My Lord. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and Abraham was 99. My, my, my. my God told them that you're going to have a baby. Abraham, again, was thinking, and Abraham didn't doubt God, but Abraham, Abraham was thinking that well, maybe Ishmael was going to be the promise. And isn't that how we do sometimes? We're thinking, God has given me this promise, 
And maybe you're going to pray the promise through this way. Mm. And God says, no, Abraham, no. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. Uh, I'm going to bless you to the, to the factor to where you can't take credit for it, that nobody can take credit for it, that, that everybody would know that it was me that did it and not you. God could have allowed Abraham and Sarah to have a baby uh, up until like maybe the 50s or 60s. I think I, I remember reading uh, years ago there was a lady uh, that had a baby. I think she was maybe 65, maybe 70 years old. Uh, and, and, and now, and, uh, but, but then Abraham and, and Sarah were beyond. Uh, the childbearing years. They were. Uh, they didn't have Viagra back then. They they, they didn't have uh, no enhancement back then. Uh, uh, and, and they they were they were at the, at the in the in the in the in the throes of where the body was physically not able to not only produce a child but yet carry one. All right, my lord. But yet God said. I'm going to bless you and Sarah with a baby. <laughs> and again, the question becomes, and see, that's exactly what Sarah did. Yeah, she laughed within herself. Yeah. And, and, and isn't, isn't that how we do with God sometimes? When God tells us the impossible, when God tells you, I'm, I'm going to heal you, when God tells you, I'm going to bring you out, I'm going to bring you out of this, out of this poverty, I'm going to do this or that, well, then we, we, we just accept the lie within ourselves. Yeah. And we're saying, God, how can that be? God, how can it, and, and it, it's, it's because we are looking at our own selves. We're looking at our own ability. We're looking at, at, at what I can do. Yes. But, but God has a supernatural way yes. Yes. of bringing his promises to pass. Uh, what promise has God yes. given you? Mm. What, 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 pro what, what promise? Amen. What promise have you been standing on? Mm. What promise yes. have you laid hold on and, and you get it to the point to where you are getting tired and, and you're thinking within yourself, uh, God is getting hard for me to hold on. Uh, and again, God asked the question. He said, is there anything too hard right. for God? Mm -hmm. is, is there anything? Is there anything? Is there one thing that's too hard for God? Mm -hmm. The answer is no. There is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Too hard for God. Right. Amen. But isn't it amazing <laughs> that we can say that about other folks? Mm. But when it comes to our own life, yeah. we have a hard time swallowing that pill. Yeah. But God wants you to settle that issue today. And he's asking you the question that he already knows the answer to. Yeah. Isn't that just like God that God when God when God asks you a question? My Lord. The God of the universe. Mm. Ask a question mm. that he already knows the answer to. I already know the answer. Yes, Ezekiel. He said, mm. "He said, can these bones live?" Mm. God had taken Ezekiel to to uh, to a, uh, a a valley full of, of dry bones. It, it, it was it was it was a place, and he said, the, the, "The word of God says that they were very dry, meaning uh, that they had been there for a long." I remember. I remember going up. Mm. I remember going up. And, and sometimes, sometimes uh, in the neighborhood that we lived in, we didn't have a plus neighborhood. Uh, we didn't have manicure lawns and all that stuff. Yeah, Every so often, somebody would drive by and they would eat, they would be eating some chicken or something. They would throw their phone out the yeah. out the car <laughs> and be out in the yard. And, and and in the in the in the southern heat, we know how the heat gets very hot here. And 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 that 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 bone would be out there. Uh, for some time, it would it would be out there uh, as a practice for uh, for about a year or two, uh, just in 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 the in the sun baking it. And, and when you go out there, you look at the bone, and and it was not only dry, mm -hmm. but it was very dry to the point to where you break it open, the the inside of it would be brittle and yeah. and dried up, and, and that's how it was uh, in the in the valley of dry bones. And, and God asked the sick, he said. Can these bones live? All right. Amen. God mm -hmm. asked the question.
question to you and I that he already knows the answer to. Amen. Well, God asks ask you a question. He already knows the answer to. Yes. And Ezekiel said, he didn't say yes or no. He said, Lord, you know. Right. He said, Lord, you know. You, you, you know if these bones can live. You know, you know if, 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 if the situation can change. And again, God is asking you, though. Come on. Is there anything yeah. too hard? For God. Amen. And Jesus answered the question when, 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 when the disciple, when Jesus had told uh, the, the, the rich young ruler how to get salvation. Mm. And, 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 and the rich young ruler went away with his head down and, and the disciples were asking, they said, Lord, with, with that, how can, how, can, how can anybody be saved? When, when Jesus said, he said, it's, it's easy for a camel to go through the eye of an evil. That is for, for man to get out. And, and, and they were scratching their head like, Lord, how in the world can that happen? Mm -hmm. And Jesus said this. He said, what is impossible for man is possible for God. All right, amen. I don't know what situation you got going on today, amen. but I want you to know that God is able to meet your needs. He is able to bring you through. There is nothing too hard for him. Amen. Amen. You want to know how I know that? There's four reasons. One is, is that, is that, is that God knew where Abraham and Sarah was. All right. He knew their address. Okay. He knew their location. He knew exactly where they were. And they were in a desert, y'all. It wasn't like they had GPS back then. Uh, they were in a desert. And the word of God says that and Abraham had been out there all day long, and, and it was the hottest part of the day. My Lord. I don't know if the heat index industry was it. Uh, it could have been a, it could have been 130, 140 degrees. But 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 the word of God says that that thing that Abraham looked up and he saw them standing before him. Yes. God knows your address. Whatever it is that you're going through, uh, yes. God knows exactly where you are. He knows how to find you. Amen. Because sometimes, sometimes we wonder if God really knows where we are. God knows exactly where you are. He's, yeah, he yeah. sees you. He knows your address. Yeah. He doesn't get you mixed up with your neighbor. That's right. Amen. He knows you. Amen. He knows it. There's times, mm -hmm. there's times, and I, I, I know all parents have probably done this. When you call, you, 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 you've been talking to your children, and you call one of your children the other children's name. <laughs> and, 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 and you tell you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yes. You know what I'm talking about. You did. Yeah. And, 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 but, but God does not get our name mixed up. Yes, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He knows mm -hmm. your address. Yes. He is not to be reminded of where you are. He knows not only your address, but he knows your state. Yes. He knows, and, and I'm not talking about the state like Florida, Alabama, but he knows the state of mind. He knows the state that you're in. He knows where you are. And as a matter of fact, listen, I know that Abraham, had, had when God had told Abraham that they're going to have a, a, a baby in, in chapter 17, I know Abraham came back and told Sarah. I know he did. He said, "Baby, the Lord told me that we're going to have we're going to have a baby," and and she probably like. Uh, 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 man, you better get out of here, man. She, but but she, she, he, I'm quite sure he told her, this Amen. is what the Lord said. Amen. Amen. This is what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. And isn't that, isn't, that, isn't that amazing sometimes? Again, when God speaks to us, either through the word of God or, or, or through the proclamation of his word, through a prophetic word, uh, we, 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 uh, I don't want to say dismiss it, but, but we, we tend to let it grow. Uh, gl gloss over and we tend to, to, to try to think of how can that be mm. because right. we're thinking of it in our own context. All right. And see, she was looking at mm -hmm. a physical body. Amen. 
Amen. The outward man perishes every day. Amen. But the, 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 the inward man is renewed mm -hmm. day by day. day. Amen. So he, he 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 knows where you are, but 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 not not only not only that, but but he he knows your situation. He yeah. knows exactly what you are going through. God was specific when He told uh, Abraham and Sarah. He said, "You," I said, "about this time next year, you are going to have." He doesn't he doesn't say a baby. He said, "But you're going to have a son." Amen. And, and, and in those times, uh, the, the son uh, represented uh, uh, to where the, the son would be an heir to the throne. And, and God had made a covenant with Abraham, uh, and he told him that the, with the son, uh, this is what's going to happen. God was cutting a, an agreement with Abraham. All right, come on, come on. He knew the situation. He knew that. He knew God. He knew he knew Abraham's age. He knew that Abraham was eighty nine. That didn't take God by surprise. Listen, listen. God knows our situation. Amen. The things that we go through, the the, the mental state that we're in at times, God already knows our situation. Amen. He He knows uh, the things that 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 tends to set us off. He knows the things that that tends to uh, annoy us. He knows the things uh, that tends to Cause us to get up and on, but 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 even Amen. through that, Amen. He knows, he knows our situation, and he knows exactly what he's going to. But he wants to use those things, Amen. To declare mm -hmm. his supernatural power, Amen. Amen. We we've seen, mm -hmm. and I applaud him. I thank you, God. Praise, because over the last couple of years. We see celebrities, we see athletes that are coming out and stating that they're dealing with mental health. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. They, they, they're, they're, they're saying that I, I have a struggle with depression. I, I have a struggle with this, a struggle with that. Uh, uh, and, and, and there was a time when that was taboo. That was a time uh, when folks uh, would, would, would write you off and say that you're crazy. Uh, but depression is real. Yes, it is. But I know that salvation is real. Also, God knew that since God is able to take those situations. Amen. He's yeah. able to take those situations, y'all. Yeah. He's able to take them yeah. and able to help others. Mm -hmm. God, again, this is this, this didn't catch this didn't catch uh, God by surprise. Listen, you know, whether whether people admit it or not, whether people admit it or not, whether people admit it or not, uh, some folks, some 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 more people than not deal with depression. All right. Mm -hmm. Some form of depression. So, mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but but again, God knows our situation. And, and God walks with us through those situations. God is yeah. with us through those situations. Yeah. And, and again, God wants you to know and he wants you to ask the question when you go through those things, uh, is there anything too hard for God? Can, if God brought me through this, then this ain't too hard for God either. God can do it. God can bring me through. Amen. So he knows. He knows where you are. He knows your situation. Mm -hmm. But he also knows the right time Amen. to give mm -hmm. that promise. Amen. Because God had given him a specific time. He said, "This about this time next year. He said, I'm, you're going to have a son. Mm -hmm. And in and, and, and verse 21, mm -hmm. uh, in chapter 21, excuse me, in chapter 21, we see that the promise had come to pass. We we see that that uh, uh, when it came through, uh, 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 Sarah had the baby, and, and, and in that in that like God that that uh, God uh, oftentimes uses situations that we feel are so far gone and so far fetched. Uh, to show himself strong uh, mm -hmm. on our behalf, uh, the, the word of God says that that the that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth, uh, seeking those whose hearts are perfect towards Him. That word "perfect" does not mean flawless. That per that word "perfect" means blameless. It means having a relationship with Him. It means believing God. And whatever whatever it is that you have that you're dealing with, I want you to hear it today. Uh, whatever it is that you that you're dealing with today, uh, whatever it is that you.
you wrestling with, uh, whatever it is uh, that has you laughing or uh, uh, scoffing within yourself, uh, when God asks you the question, uh, uh, saying that this is going to happen, or uh, uh, whatever it is uh, that you're dealing with, God knows the right time to bring you out. Uh, because when God, uh, uh, if He brings you out too, uh, even if He brings you out too early, uh, you're undone. Uh, if He brings you out too uh, late, uh, then you're going to be overcooked. Uh, I learned that because my wife, uh, she knows how to bake cakes, y'all. Uh, and some of y'all. I have tried with cakes, and I've learned, hallelujah, that whenever you, whenever you, uh, you take the, 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 the ingredients, uh, you take the flour, you take the, the vanilla extract, the milk, uh, the eggs, you put all of that together, hallelujah, beat it, and, and listen, y'all, sometimes uh, we feel like we beat up uh, because, of, uh, because of all the stuff that we're going through, uh, but God is using those things, hallelujah, to bring about uh, a good thing, and God uses she brings, she brings, she beats all of that stuff together huh, and pours it into a pan. Huh, and I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I can use my imagination, y'all, huh, I can hear huh, the cake talking right now. Huh, I can hear, huh, hallelujah, huh, the cake in the pan huh, saying, huh, a man, what are you doing? Huh, huh, he, said, he said, I feel the heat. Huh, huh, you got to preheat the heat. You got to turn the, the oven on to get it right, y'all. Huh, hallelujah. Huh, and sometimes, y'all, huh, when we're going through things, huh, we're asking God, God, what are you doing? Huh? God, what are you doing? Huh? I don't want to go in there. Huh? I don't want to go through that. Huh? And God, huh, like the king, huh, is, is saying, uh, uh, you know, like the king was saying, huh, the king said, huh, man, what are you doing? Huh? Uh, he said, uh, I don't want to go in there. Huh? It's dark in there. Huh? It's hot in there. Huh? I don't want to go in there. Huh? I, but, but, uh, I can hear the boy that's making the cake huh, saying, in order for you to be done, huh, you've got to go into the fire. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And then, huh, Hallelujah, she puts uh, she puts the cake pan in the uh, along with the ingredients uh, and she turns it up uh, uh, to 375 or thing or something like that. Uh, and it have to, have to sit there uh, uh, for a few minutes. Uh, and every so often, y'all, uh, hallelujah, uh, uh, she would go in uh, and she would turn the light on uh, and peer at it uh, to see if it's ready. Uh, and sometimes she would open up the oven uh, and she would stick a, a toothpick in it uh, to make sure that it's in uh, to make sure that it's done. Uh, and so Sometimes, huh, uh, the middle of it may not be done. Huh? And she said, well, huh, you got to stand it just a little while longer. Huh? And sometimes, y'all, huh, huh, God keeps us huh, in the heat of things. Huh? And we say, God, I want to get out. Huh? And God says, huh, you ain't done yet. Huh? I want to keep that just a little while longer. Huh? You got to. Huh? I'm trying to do something. Huh? And you say, well, huh, God, I, I don't want to say no longer. Huh? And yeah, yeah, and listen. My God. Listen. Man, with this God. cake. My Lord. The, the cake Woo. taught me something. My Lord. It taught me something. Ooh, Lord, help me it taught me something. Mm. It taught me something. Yes. That as long as somebody has an eye on the cake, My Lord. the cake maker, as long as the cake maker mm. has an eye on the cake, mm. uh, that cake is going to make it out of the fire. Yes. Uh, uh, some of y'all just let that speak. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, because my wife, she goes in uh, just in the nick of time. Uh, and she takes the cake out of the oven. Uh, and she put it on top of the oven uh, uh, to let it cool off a little bit. Uh, but it's still cooking up. Uh. In other words, uh, God, what God is trying to do in us, uh, hallelujah, uh, is he's trying to mature us. Uh, he's trying to get us uh, to where we are done. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that what we are, are able uh, to Take some things up huh, and listen up. When we go through things, my, my. when we go through things, mm, mm, mm. when God brings us out, Thank yes, you, Lord. when He brings us out, yes, Lord. we're able to be a blessing. Yes, Lord. We're able to be a blessing to those around us because yes, listen, Lord. listen. Some of y'all have some of my wife King. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> and and mm. and so for those that have had, uh, you, you, it, it melts in your mouth. And, 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 and it's a blessing to you because uh, because when I see you eat the cake, I, I see a smile on your face. Uh, but but you don't know what it took uh, for that cake uh, uh, to get to the point where it is, uh, to where it's a blessing to you. Uh, so it is with God. Uh, God uh, has to keep you in a situation uh, in order for you to be a blessing. Amen. In order for you to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord. In order for you to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord. To someone else. My, my. Is there anything too hard? No, no. For God. Mm -hmm. Trust God. No matter what it is, no matter no matter what promise God has given, no matter how long it takes. Well, 
Amen. Trust God. Amen. I think many of y'all have heard me. Uh, there's a, there's there's a there's a story of a uh, true story of a, a man by the name of George New, and he uh, actually was a man of faith, a man of prayer. And what he did was he started he started an orphanage for kids, and he did everything by faith and prayer. That's right. Whatever they had to eat, it's because he prayed. That's right. The clothes they had on, it's because he prayed. Mm. The staff that received their salaries, and he had, mind you, he had staff members, and they didn't have the one or two or three orphanages. They had thousands of orphanages uh, of orphans that they were taking care of that had to eat and they, they had three square meals a day there was not one day that these kids missed a meal their, 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 their uniforms is always uh, pristine and they were always uh, uh, essentially the top of whatever orphanage and this man That's right. because he's a man of prayer God had put on his heart to pray for five men mm. five one of the men got saved right away. The second one got saved within a few years. The third one got saved, I think it was maybe 10 years later. The fourth one, it took some 40 something years for him to get saved. And the fifth one got saved when he died. Wow. And the record has it that he prayed for them every single day. There was not a day that went by that he did not pray for those men. What am I saying? What I'm saying is, is, is if you know that there's not anything too hard for God, then you need to pray for that husband. You need to pray for those children. You need to pray for those co co-workers. You need to pray for your neighbors. You need to pray yourself, but see, God is calling to be intercessors. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen. There's nothing too hard mm -hmm. for God. Yes, Lord. So whenever you go through a situation, yes, Lord. I want you to, I want you to ask yourself a serious question. Mm. Is this too hard for God? Mm. Mm. And I want you to think about that thing, mm. because if you're looking at it from God's vantage point. It ain't too hard for him. Mm. But it could be too hard for you. Mm. So if it's too hard for you, there's a room. Cast your cares upon him. Mm -hmm. Because he cares for you. Amen. That word cast is is I, I like it like a fishing term. It's it's where somebody takes a net or a fishing rod and they cast, they throw the they throw the line out. So that it can go far. All right. Cast your cares upon him. Because he cares. Thank you, Lord. For you. Amen. I'm going to say this, and I'm, I'm done. Amen. Catch my cares. Oftentimes, people don't think that they need God. <laughs> but the issues of life make you realize that you do need God. Amen. Amen. Because of the issues of life, and I said this earlier, for the issues of life, if you could change the issues, you would. But since you can't change it, you got to go to somebody that can. All right. And that person that can is not at Walmart. Right. It's not at CVS. Right. It's not at Walgreens. It's not uh, at, at Baptist Hospital or, or, or West Florida Hospital or, or Sacred Heart. Uh, uh, that, that, that person is not in your bank account or, or on your job. That person is Jesus. He is the one that's able to do it. So if you've been struggling, if you've been struggling and you haven't tried Jesus, there's nothing too hard for him. So you need to give your life to Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Give it over to him. Mm -hmm. Give it over. Amen.
Amen. To him. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father, for this word, God. Thank, thank you, Lord. Uh, there's nothing too hard for you. Yes, Lord. Now, we ask God to you would speak to the hearts of, the, of those, God, that uh, that have not received in the, in the part of their sins, God. Yes, Lord. Someone that has not received, God. That someone that does not know you. Yes, Lord. God, uh, because there, there's somebody, Lord, that needs you. Yes, Lord. They need you. Mm -hmm. And we're asking, Father, that you would draw them by your spirit. Yes, yes. Lord. That they would give their life to you. And I, I ask, Father, that they, God, would respond to the word. Yes, Lord. That they God would give them life to you today. We uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for you speaking to the hearts of your people today. Yes, Lord. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If, if there may be someone under the sound of my voice that may not know Jesus in the part of your sins, this is your opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Amen. This is your time mm -hmm. to get it right with God. I know you've been saying next week, next month or, or some other time. The time is now. Because time is winding up. Jesus is soon to return. Yes. Oh, yeah. Time is winding up. Mm -hmm. And God will, will forgive you of your sin. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It didn't say nothing about y'all. It says all. Everyone. Everyone has sinned. And come short of the glory of God. But God has an antidote for that. And, it's, it's, and Jesus giving his life for you. Yes, Lord. So I want you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, confess I confess that I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I, believe I believe with all my heart that God raised you from the dead just for me. I ask that you would come into my heart. That you would change my life. That you would be Lord of my life. Lord, I know that there's nothing to offer you. I've sinned, yes, Lord. and I cannot change myself. Yes, Lord. Now, I ask that you would save me, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. I want to thank you thank for salvation. I confess with my mouth, yes, Lord. and I believe with all my heart that God raised you from the dead. And yes, your word says that I shall be saved. Yes, Lord. I believe that, Yes. and I trust my life with you. Yes, Lord. Jesus, thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I want to welcome you into the family of faith. Amen. Thank you. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. you, you, I want to tell you now, you're not going to have, you may have some hard days ahead, but there is nothing too hard for God. Because you got somebody that's going to bring you through. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. Now unto him is able to keep you from falling. And present your faultless before me on the wise God. And be majesty, the main power, and praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God.